everyone to my first Ledgers by Lisa how-to video for QuickBooks Online. Um, as you can see, I am currently in the sample company. Um, that can be found in the QuickBooks Online accountant version of the QuickBooks subscription. And this sample company I have gone in and edited already, so we can go ahead and start with this training video. Um, so today's focus is going to be on reconciling the corporate credit card accounts that you often see with like Bank of America, American Express, Chase Bank, etc. So um, what I did in the sample company, I first went and set up the accounts in the chart of accounts. And we'll go take a look at what that looks like right now. Um, so here is your main quote unquote parent account, and then these are each of the sub accounts. So typically um, these sub accounts will be connected to the banking transactions um, to import all the expenses for the month for those cards. And then uh, typically the parent account is not connected to the bank feed and is just basically a holding account for the payments, any interest expenses, and um, the transfers that we're going to set up for the sub account expenses. So with that, uh, let's go ahead and get started with the reconciliation. So the first step uh, when you go in to reconcile, this will always be the first screen that you see if you have never um, reconciled any accounts within your QuickBooks Online. Um, there are tutorials here that you can view, um, but we are just going to go ahead and get started. Now, again, this is the training uh, sample company, so I'm not sure all exactly what is in here besides these accounts that I set up. Okay, so you'll want to make sure you have that statement available in front of you uh, when you are reconciling. And for these corporate accounts, it is important to note that you do not reconcile the first main parent account, whatever you want to call it. You do not do that first. You do that one last always. So you always start with these sub accounts first. These sub account balances will always be zero at the end of the statement period, which we are going to set for today. And you just hit that Start Reconciling button. So when the screen opens up, oh, let me get rid of these messages. OK, so when this screen opens up, uh, what you want to do then is compare the expenses that are listed here to the expenses listed on that statement. This is very, very important. If you are selecting transactions that are not on the statement, it's going to throw everything off. So you want to make sure these are 100% accurate. Um, so again, you compare in here to what is on your statement, and we are only looking at this sub-account. Most statements will have the total expenses listed for these specific cards, so you'll want to get that matched in your QuickBooks. So let's go ahead and select all the correct expenses. And this total here should be that total on your statement. If it's not, then you are missing transactions. Um, they could be one of two places, in the bank feed, waiting to be categorized, or maybe they didn't import at all, so you have to go back and enter them manually. So, very important, this total here, this difference in this difference box should match exactly what is listed on the statement for the sub account for the total expenses for that statement. And once you confirm that the balances match, all we do here is a transfer. So this is just transferring the balance of the expenses from the child account to the parent account. So this is going to look backwards because this account here is where all of the payments live, and these accounts here are where all of the uh, expenses live. So you want to offset them to get that $0 balance at the end 
of the statement period. Go ahead and put that total in there. Again, this total needs to come from the statement, needs to match that total. The date on the transfer is going to be the statement ending date. And then I like to put a memo in here. Uh, just so I know what I'm looking at when I go to reconcile this main credit card. So we will save and close. You will select the transfer here, and this should be $0. If it's not, then you have an error somewhere and you need to go back and figure that out. Okay, so let's move on to the next sub account. We are going to do the exact same thing. $0, statement ending date, start reconciling. Now we are going to look at the expenses on the statement for the other sub account. Make sure they all match. Again, this total here needs to match exactly to the statement total of expenses for this specific sub account. So we are going to go ahead and grab this total set up that same transfer, make sure you um, select the correct sub account. Again, this total here needs to match what is on the statement. That is very important. And if it does not, then you will run into issues when you go to the, that parent account to reconcile. Reconciling is all about getting the matches uh, from the statement into your QuickBooks. You always want this difference to be zero. Um, I feel like sometimes that is forgotten. So now, this main account, you are always going to put the statement ending balance here. This is not like the sub accounts where we're reconciling to zero. We are actually reconciling to the statement for this one. Make sure these dates match for all three of the cards. And again, if you have more than two accounts, keep doing like we did with the other ones. The main account will be last every time. Okay. Now we want to go ahead and match the interest, right? Make sure that interest expense matches. If it's not here, you will probably have to enter it manually. Um, if for some reason you are able to connect that parent account in the banking screen, these payments and interest should automatically uh, import for that card. And then these are the transfers. Again, these should match the totals on the statement, the total expenses for those specific cards. And now see, we have a $0 difference. The statement ending balance matches to the statement and we are good to go. So I always like to go back and look at my history by account and attach my statement here for the month. Um, and then when you go to the sub accounts, again, these sh this should always be zero, always. And the same with this one. So I think we are all done here. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. Um, again, this is the first one for Ledgers by Lisa. Um, and we are just doing these videos to help all those customers out there who use QuickBooks Online and may not have the support they need to reconcile, the, reconcile these corporate credit card accounts. Um, I would appreciate it if you could leave any comments below about things I could improve. Again, this is our first video and um, this is also a learning experience for me because I am not uh, very good with the software editing, like video editing, uploading to YouTube. So this should be an interesting journey for all of us. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your evening.